Hello everybody and welcome to YouTube. My name is Petal Red Playtail and today we're going to be reviewing <coughs> Simpsons Hit and Run. Since I don't really want to spoil too much of it for you, but I'm I'm going to tell you the a bit of the story. Consider this your spoiler alert. So, after when Homer destroys the wasp, it's apparent that there's a new cola in town called Buzz Cola, and Homer wants to have some. Mmm, cola. Must get Buzz Cola. Later in the story, we find out that a strange uh, black vans and surveillance cam wasp cameras are spying on the... Uh, people of Springfield. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, where is the sexy footage? Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Homer then follows the black van to Mr. Burns's house and through a series of events, uh, he gets fired from work. Bart Simpson wants to get the new Burnstone get 2 game, but unfortunately March destroyed every copy. Now it's up to Bart to go on an epic quest to get Bonestorm 2. Your quest for Bonestorm 2 is quite futile. Professor Frink posted a message on my news group, alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net. That one of us, one of us. Bart then talks to Frink, which is the only person that has a copy of the game. But unfortunately he needs the uh, violence in order to power the Trocosaurus that he's working on. Bart then help, decides to help Frink out. Unfortunately, Truckosaurus is evil and Bart gets abducted. So what happens when you can't find your son? You get your little sister to go after looking for him. Eventually, Lisa does find Bart, but he can't speak English. Gameplay, you could be collecting things, racing a Skinner to get some steamed hams, and destroying things. Now, The Simpsons Hit and Run shouldn't cost too much money. Despite what Amazon says. And when you're not playing, there's a golden opportunity to explore the world around you and just drive anywhere you want within the game. It might not be as big as San Andreas, but it makes up for it with um, three or four new worlds. Now, there are some glitches in the game, but it just adds to its overall charm. Like uh, Homer's uh, levels are more easy and laid back, and it, and it seems like Bart's levels are a little bit more harder, but not too much. And Lisa's levels would have been easy if it wasn't for one level. In the game, you'll find gags. Interacting with them will give you a coin. And you look at the Ted like nothing happened there. Stop coming here. We're making uh, sausage. Sausages. Okay then! You may have already noticed a little game in the minimap where every time you hit something, once it's full, this will happen. It's all good! Woo! Nice one! If you've got enough money, you can also purchase different outfits for uh, different characters. There's uh, no the maximum number of uh, clothing is stuck. There's also a lot of vehicles that you can unlock or buy from Old Kill because you've got to help Old Kill out. Not to mention there's secret cards hidden in every level. There's uh, drag races, there's gambling races, there's money to be collected in secret areas. And there's much more hidden vehicles in every level. I haven't even tipped the iceberg here. All I can do is take you home and get you a diaper. Anyway, Simpsons Hit and Run is a rare gem and it's definitely worth the buy. Play it for yourself and it works. Play it there, for a copy for it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I'm Ethelred Flamethrower, and I'll see you later. Bye.